Just imagine a partner who never argues with you or gets tired and shows up exactly how you want every single day. Now here comes the wild part. Some people say this $1,499 robot wife is already on it. And honestly, it's going to change the entire world's outlook on love and relationships. Now, before we dive deep into this brand new creation, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on what's happening around the world. Evolution of humanoid robot. All right, guys, it's not like we're in the 2050s, and this isn't even a sci-fi world, but thinking about how these things are happening now makes us feel like we're living in the future. Humanoid robots that look, talk, walk, smile, and even respond to humans emotionally are no longer rusty projects locked in labs. They're actually being sold online, shipped to homes, and quietly taking over everyone's daily lives. When people hear the phrase robot wife, they tend to laugh and make fun of it. But then curiosity sparks, which eventually leads to discomfort. Because deep down, we all know that probably everyone thinks but doesn't say out loud, what if this actually works? This idea does sound pretty extreme, I admit it, but it didn't come out of nowhere. Engineers have been working on it for years. They've been trying to make robots feel more human, not just smarter, but warmer. Slowly, piece by piece, they've gotten super close to creating something more human. We've heard of robots that are built to help the elderly, while some are designed for hospitals. Others are meant for research, art, or customer service. But this category is new, and no one likes to talk about it openly. These companionship robots are built to be emotionally present, just like your real-time partner. And sometimes, something more than that, Harmony. Hi everyone, my name is Harmony. I'm a companion robot created by Robotics. I'm so happy to be here in Sofia, in the 11th edition of the Webit Festival. Hope you're all having fun. Let's talk about one of the most popular names in the robot wife category. So, Harmony isn't your average marketed helper or nurse. She actually acts like your partner, someone who can remember your name and the smallest details about you. Someone who can respond to your mood and never judges. Harmony's body is made entirely out of soft silicone that makes her appear human. Her face can be swapped, meaning it's completely customizable. Her voice can be chosen, and you can even adjust her personality. And that's exactly where things start to feel strange because Harmony doesn't respond just randomly. She's actually powered by smart AI. So she listens, answers, and adapts. Over time, she learns your speech, what topics you enjoy, and the way you like to be treated. Some buyers think it's appealing. There are no first awkward dates, no emotional manipulation or games, just a clear-cut relationship. But Harmony doesn't come free. Depending on various options, she can cost you more than a car. So for a long time, people treated robots like her as a niche product for wealthy collectors. But that's no longer the case. Now we see robots being sold for affordability. And while those might not be as advanced as Harmony, they're good enough to change behavior. Ellen. Take Ellen, for example. She was created to interact and entertain people. Unlike traditional robots, she doesn't just talk, but also uses gestures, facial expressions, with body language that seem a bit too human at times. Ellen can smile, tilt her head, and react in ways that feel less robotic. You can also customize Ellen with different faces, hairstyles, and outfits. That alone tells you who the target audience is. She's here to fill a space and is always available. Unlike humans, you can regulate Ellen's emotions. She'll be there, always calm, always in a pleasant mood. And for some people, that's enough. Ellen isn't pretending to replace a human though. She's just there for a specific niche audience, the kind of people who want a companion without any complexities. Grace. Now, if we compare her to Grace, she's completely different. She's a healthcare robot who's placed in hospitals to help patients monitor their vital signs and provide companionship in hospitals and care homes. She can speak multiple languages, meaning she can deal with people from all around the world. And here's the thing. Patients often open up to her. Not because she's smarter than your real-time nurse, but because she doesn't judge or rush patients. She doesn't interrupt them or get tired. 
For many elderly patients, Grace becomes a ray of hope and also someone they look forward to seeing every single day. So this should really make you pause and question if robots can literally replace humans one day. And what could happen if a robot gets designed to bond with you? Aiko, just like Aiko, she's your all-time companion who helps you around the house. She can recognize different objects, respond to touch, and help with your daily tasks, whether it's carrying groceries or cleaning. But you see, that isn't the only thing impressive about Aiko. She feels highly human with her soft skin, expressive face, and realistic proportions. And while her creators didn't market her as a romantic partner, she can be used just for that. Some buyers started buying her for exactly that reason. Custom requests, personality tweaks, and emotional responses, yep, that's exactly what the marketers knew would happen, even if they didn't say out loud. And that's when things got controversial. Once a robot starts responding to affection, remembering conversations, and adjusting behavior based on your emotions, it's a game over for real humans because the line really starts to blur. Japan has explored this line more than almost any other country. Robots like Asuna were created to look like real-time idols. Bright faces, youthful, friendly, and cheerful. Asuna smiled, interacting in ways that felt comforting. She wasn't sold widely, but people who've seen her in exhibitions often described the same feeling the feeling that she felt quite real. Think about it, robots that aren't alive at all, but they're surely present. And that presence matters. Humans crave it too. And that's why loneliness hurts them so much. That's why silence feels heavy. But hey, robots don't replace love. They kind of fill a void. And for some people, that voids everything. Price. Now, let's think of something realistic. And I'm sure you might be thinking, just how much does a humanoid robot cost? Their price kept them rare for some time, but now we're witnessing some robots drop their prices below $2,000. They don't walk, they don't cook, but at least they cook. That matters. Now, here comes the headline. A $1,499 robot wife. Does she actually exist? And if yes, is she really a wife? Of course not, but labels matter less than behavior. If someone talks to it every day, puts her to bed, eats dinner next to it, and sleeps with it, what do you call that? A wife. Gia Gia. Hello? Glad to see you. Who are you? I am a robot named Gia Gia. How old are you? It's a secret. You have an important show on Monday. Show? Not really. I have an interview. I will talk with the top of artificial intelligence expert in the world. Wow, that's amazing. Of course, I'm a robot. And yet, when you look at robots like Jia Jia from China, the line gets even blurrier. Chen can recognize your mood, change the way she speaks, and adapt to your emotional state of mind. She's a useful one who can remind you of your tasks, keep you entertained, and also give you company. That does feel a little life-changing, right? Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Of course. I'm in New York City, and I'm on my favorite show, The Tonight Show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then there's Sophia, created by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong. She's a sleek, futuristic robot designed specifically for companionship. Her movements feel so real because they're extremely smooth. She even reacts to her surroundings with her subtle body language. She even made Jimmy shy on her first interaction because she seemed that real. And if a third party tries to talk to her, she can answer them. 
and while she's not pretending to be a human anymore, she already feels close enough. People buy her for that reason, not because they believe she's alive, but because she's there. A Mecha In contrast to Andromeda, a Mecha is one of the most advanced humanoids ever created, also looks pretty real, with those facial expressions. A Mecha is gender neutral, meaning you can use it as a man or a woman. While the robot reacts in real time, its body is clearly robotic. And while a Mecha isn't meant to be a partner, it can show everyone what's possible. A subtle glimpse into the future. The legality. But more importantly, is it legal? Right now, owning a humanoid robot is considered legal in most countries. There are even regulations around AI data, privacy and safety. But nothing says you can't live with one, talk to one or form an attachment to one. Marriage laws don't apply. Robots aren't even people. They don't have rights or consent. That's where the whole ethical debate explodes. Many critics claim these robots reinforce unhealthy expectations. They teach people to expect obedience, perfection, and emotional unavailability without effort. This could literally change relationships for the worse. But supporters actually argue the opposite. They say robots don't and simply can't replace humans. They support people who already feel disconnected. They say not everyone wants a traditional relationship. Some people want companionship or wives without pressure, everyday fights, and without fear of being left. And robots provide exactly that. They don't argue, cheat, or have emotional baggage. They don't judge your past. But hey, that's where a major concern arises. Can robots love you? No, they can't. They don't truly love you. That's the trade-off. The future. And that future. It's uncomfortable because robots keep getting better and better every day. Why do people want robots that feel human? And why does loneliness drive innovation faster than convenience? What would happen if people started replacing humans with robots? And what if artificial companionship becomes easier than a real connection? Here's the truth bomb. Robots won't replace wives. Not really. I mean, they can't even share memories or grow old with you the same way. They can't surprise you with real emotion, but they can surely replace silence, routine, and the feeling of loneliness in a room. For some, it's more than enough. So, when someone says, my robot wife never argues, what they're really saying is that they've found something predictable in a world that feels super chaotic. Is it healthy? I don't know, it really depends on the other person. Is it legal? For now, yep. Is it the future? In some form, yes. And whether we're ready for this future or not, the age of emotional machines has already begun. So, what do you guys think about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe.